This is the part of the show where I normally come on and say something like, it's a privilege to get to visit with your favorite coach or player on the summit today. Or more recently, I've been saying things like, we continue to preview the 2024 college football season and our stop today is wherever that stop may be. Well, today, I just wanted to say it truly is a privilege to get to visit with you. Hi, I'm Joey McWilliams. This is Midwest Sports Net. And it's been a while since I've done a video. I want to try to do this one today in one take. So I do have some notes in front of me to make sure I get it all done right. But I wanted to give you an update on, on what's going on in our house and, and what's happening today. I know I look a little bit different, probably sound a little bit different, but uh, I praise God to be able to speak with you right now. So uh, the last video we did was on August 14th. I had a chance to visit with Coach Phipps. Thoroughly enjoyed that video and that conversation, and that's it. That's the, the last thing we'd seen on the channel till now. On August 15th, which just happened to be my twins' senior year, first day of school, uh, a little bit after I'd made breakfast for them, I wound up going into our local hospital facility. I uh, went to the ER, was experiencing pain that I thought was kidney stones. I'd had kidney stones like 15 years ago. I thought that was it. Um, I was there for a little bit in the ER and quickly they took me to ICU. Now in ICU, I spent four days in ICU in our local facility and uh, my wife was with me pretty much the whole time. I was thankful that she's been there and Jody's just been a rock this entire time. But every day, every morning they would come in and every day it would be new information and every day it was worse than the next. And I really kind of felt like Job at, at some point in time. I mean, it was it was tough. We kept getting different diagnoses. Well, on August 19th, they did another test. They'd already done a CT on me. They did another, uh, they did a TEE exam. And uh, after looking through it, one of the heart doctors here said, you've got to get him out of here. And so I was very quickly, as a matter of fact, within about 30 minutes, I was life flighted to OU Medical, where I spent another 14 days. But uh, in the time up there, and, and one of my daughters was uh, up there, she lives close to the hospital, and my wife was up there. Every morning they'd come in and, and they'd give us a different diagnosis. Every day it was different. Every day it was worse. Every day it just added on to something. Uh, finally, on August 22nd, which was a Thursday, uh, I had been in pain for a long time. Pain wasn't going away. And it got worse and worse. And uh, they were looking more, a couple more exams. And finally, they determined on that evening they needed to do surgery. And it wound up being a life-saving surgery. I'm so thankful to God for putting me in the right place with the right doctors at the right time. Um, I was, it, it was bad. And, and I didn't know just how bad it was until uh, very recently. But uh, they went in. I had been bleeding out through my kidney. Uh, there was blood, there was all kinds of stuff. And so they went in, they embolized the kidney, they took care of that. They also took care of some other things too. There were clots around that kidney and the other one that they dealt with, clots around my lungs that they dealt with. And, and it turns out that wasn't all I was dealing with was that kidney. Uh, I was dealing with uh, cavitating pneumonia, didn't know there was such a thing that takes chunks out of your lungs. And so, by the way, treatment on that has gone well and my lungs are regenerating. So I'm very thankful for that too. But um, that, that was rough. And on top of that, I had been dealing with MRSA. Exactly. Uh, MRSA in the blood, which is something I heard nurses say when people would come into my room. It really made me feel like I had leprosy or something. But anyway, yeah, MRSA throughout there, I have been being treated for that for weeks. And since I've come home, I'm also uh, taking IV infusions for a little bit longer. Jody's been helping me get that done. And again, I'm so thankful for her, but I'm, I'm getting better. And so all of those things combined, there were a couple more things, uh, more clots and just different things that I had been dealing with. And it was all at once. And the doctors still weren't sure and aren't sure exactly what caused it. It was just a, an immune system breakdown that all, everything attacked and everything happened at once. But uh, the MRSA's been treated and it is, uh, it's going away. I, th I believe it's gone by now. The pneumonia is gone. Um, kidney is uh, doing okay. Other kidneys working fine. No clots. I just have a, I have a good report and I've been discharged uh, September 1st. And so it's been right at about a month. I've been wanting to talk to you all for a long time and tell you about that, that I'm okay. But 
took a little strength and I didn't realize what it took out of me. And, um, from the highest point in the hospital to where I am right now, I've lost 40 pounds. A lot of that was muscle. I've had to learn how to relearn how to do some things and, and get back up on my feet, but I'm, I'm doing well again. I've driven the last couple of days and, uh, still making trips to see the doctors, but, uh, but we're doing okay. And so i I want to do another video really soon. I hope that the voice is back to where it should be. But mainly what I wanted to do was I just wanted to let you know. And I wanted to say thank you to a lot of different people. And first, I want to say thank you to God. I'm very thankful for what he did for me. And I'm thankful for what Jesus did for me on the cross. I know there were a lot of people praying for me. Maybe you were some of the people praying for me. And I I appreciate that. But I'm thankful for what Jesus did for me on the cross. And there are so many verses uh, like Isaiah 53, 5 and 1 Peter 2, 24 that I stood on during that time and continue to stand on. And I, I, I appreciate what God has done for me and what Jesus has done for me and on the cross. And I just received that healing. The second thing is I want to say thank you to the doctors at OU Medical the, and the nurses and the staff <clears throat> and the faculty. They did so much for me and I'm so thankful and, and I just appreciate it. And the more I found out since being in the hospital as to how bad some of those situations were, I, I can't say enough to, to just say how thankful I am. Thankful to my friends and my community here where I live. And so many people have blessed my family and me uh, financially and in other ways. And I, I just, I want to say thank you so much and make sure it's on record that I say thank you to uh, Durant, Bryan County, all the the people around this area and beyond who've been a blessing to my family and me. And I want to say thank you to my family, uh, to all of my kids, um, and specifically to my wife, to Jody, who again has been a rock. She's been a blessing. I can't say enough about her and what she's done to be able to stay strong through this. You know, sometimes these roles are reversed in our our family and, and she's been the one to stay strong this time. She's taking care of all the things since I've been home. And um, I just, I love you, Jody, and I'm very thankful for what you've done. So uh, that, that was it. I, I, I appreciate that. And really, I want to say thank you to you too. All of you who watch the videos, all of you who are part of Midwest Sportsnet in any way at all, thank you. Thank you for being a part of this channel. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. We talk about small college sports and more throughout the Midwest and beyond, mainly Division II and NAIA. We have a lot of fun. I haven't missed out on the whole football season yet, and I look forward to getting back in the swing of things and having some more guests on the channel too so they can talk some more and maybe I don't have to talk as much. But uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to that, and, and I'm grateful. So please subscribe to the channel. Continue to, to be a part of the, live, uh, of the live streams and the chats and enjoy what's going on here. Thank you so much. And I want to say I'm very thankful to be alive. I really am. You you don't think about these things all the time. I've thought about it a lot more in the last month and a half. I'm very thankful to be alive. I'm thankful to get to talk to you. So I would close by saying it's a privilege to get to visit with you today on the summit here on Midwest Sportsnet. God bless you.